Hello. Well, welcome to episode 45 Who's of the Jar Media yep. podcast. Ruben's not here. Today we've got... Ruben's not here. We've got Retro from the from Watch Dogs. Very, very cool. Oh, that's... I'm, put, I'm putting this down there. It's very hot. The cringy this time we're going to make the intro the last 25 minutes. Character. What's an intro? Face mask I don't know. Character. I'm going to describe oh, what an intro is for 35 minutes. Do you know what I actually call do it? the intro for th another 35 minutes. And then play... Then change Jim's game attack. Because that's a joke. Because it's the only show. Oh, yeah. That was the last time, wasn't it? Um, before we go into something I wanted to say, there was someone from last week who emailed me specifically asking why they thought um, our, our reaction was like, what? They asked a perfectly reasonable question and we kind of knocked it on the that, head that for being James stupid. That was James being you, wasn't it? Yeah. It was near the end of the cast. Was it was one of the one last. Not, I wasn't here for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, That's why I was confused. Well, now you can actually answer the question because it's, oh. it's an actually interesting question. Because oh, right. they, Jim read it off and we were just like, yeah, yeah, the answer's obvious. Shut up, for, I, or something. But what, I don't know what the question is. Well, I'll read it right now, here? and we're going to answer it right now. Okay. Was it the Lord so, of the Rings? No, shut up. No, it wasn't Lord of the Rings. Oh. That, wasn't, that wasn't a question. That was just something I wrote oh, please myself. Please stop stalling yeah, the question. Yeah, lots of people got Jake. upset about it because we didn't actually go talk about it. Because we didn't it. finish it. Yeah. Stop stalling the question. We can go back to it if we want. Yeah. Please. Now that Ruben's here. But um, we didn't even introduce who we are. We need to get into a rhythm of doing that. The, 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 opening, the opening has it in. I suppose. Some people... like I'm you, Ruben. You still get comments where it's like, Oh, I just figured out what jar means. Come Even though along it's like Jay, Jamie, James, Come along A, to Alex, Jason Town. I came up with that. Saw your trust and wipe Argy away your frown. Roll call. Argy and yeah. Alex. Everyone. Now, we just need another another R now. You I don't know anyone. Sorry. One. Shut up. James does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the question. No. The question Blocked. was <laughs> blocked. Where exactly? She see this. So she never Shh. Uh, Listen. Where exactly should be drawn the line between simple and bad content? Are they the same or are they just similarities? How to criticize both? Uh, what comes to mind with simple content? Supply this to YouTube first, I suppose. Yeah. I think that's what he means. Well, I, when I think of simple content, like an unboxing video, that's pretty simple content. Mm hmm. Mm. Because it's what you it's just. So, what's the difference it? between a good unboxing and a bad unboxing? <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> Well, good unboxing. Is Ironically, a, ba a the bad, bad unboxing, unboxing is iDubs, even though it's good. Yeah, that's the, some of the best. That's the best unboxing. Mm -hmm. iDubs is a good one. Yeah, but then bad one. I guess if it's just really unengaging, I guess. Mm -hmm. I suppose Ashens is a certain way about him, but I don't find him unengaging. Other people might find him boring, but I don't. Yeah. So, because he's, he's just I think, the way he is. Oh, I, um, I don't like unboxings when there's uh, like no personality involved yeah, at all. Yeah, there's the, the, oh, generic now, okay. like new just, iPhone unboxing. Here we go, let's but then, just but then at the same time, now and again. I'd go on IGN and see them unboxing like a special edition console or something and be like, oh, that's cool. This yeah. video served its purpose to show me this thing I'll probably never have. Cool. The unboxing was a hard one. I suppose it's weird. It's quite subjective, that, isn't it? Yeah. If it's a thing you're okay, interested how about, in. How suppose, about like... I suppose uh, it's because the IGN guys or whoever, they must, they'll, they're just like just like dudes enough to be like, yeah, yeah. fine. What about just like, let's say, a movie review? What's the difference between a good and bad movie review? How engaging it is. A bad one. For you think me. a movie review has to be engaging? When I've tried to watch movie reviews, I normally get bored and give up. Well, if they could, what, do you think like... they get too technical? or No, they just, they're just fucking boring. So, so too technical then? Go yeah, James. technically you'd say that, yeah. I feel like that's a you problem though. Yeah. No, but I Because I like watch... when they get in depth into things. No, it's that... not the in depth part, it's just they have no character so and it's just kind of boring. They're not moving on to things to the actual point. They're staying on this really subtle shit. I'm going on my phone. Fuck what was it? What were you going to say? I was interrupted. That's because we were still arguing. Oh shit. Well, no, look, I was going to speak first. There was no still arguing. I was going to speak, and then you just jumped in. Okay. What is it about the movie reviews? Yes. Okay, okay. When it's just so terribly put together, just a guy sat down in front of his fucking webcam thing, talks for five minutes about a Marvel film, and just says, well, it was pretty fun, and then just turns it off. And when, that's his yeah, when it's like a recap of every one of those yeah. sentence metacritic summaries. Yeah. It's like, and it, it's just a dude, he's done nothing at all. Mm -hmm. and that's Captain it. America's Civil War is the new Marvel movie where and Captain does, America no, fights. There's no critical analysis, he just yeah. tells a synopsis and says, well, it was fun. It's what you expect. It's yeah. exactly what you want from them. He's wearing his, like, Captain <laughs> yeah. America shield t-shirt as well. Yeah. Because he's cool. Mm -hmm. Probably wearing a snapback, it's tasteless. Yeah. I like with movie reviews specifically. Fucking stupid New Zealand beanie. <laughs> not being able to predict what exactly what they're going to say. Mm -hmm. um, which is where I have a problem with, say, for example, like Angry Joe, 
Um, it's it's too predictable. Movie, and then a good movie review is like, well, there are a lot, but the, the best movie reviewers are Red Letter Media. Yeah. yeah well, my, I have three faves. Red Letter Media, um, YMS, and Ralph the Movie Maker. They're my three. And they're all very similar in the kind of dry um, stylings of, of uh, opinion and whatnot. But they're all fair, though. They're all fair and reasonable. Well, and then a bad movie review is uh, anything anything Angry Joe touches. <laughs> yep. That's a bad Definitely. one. Because there's, there's almost no objectivity. I almost whatsoever. value his reviews because it's like he represents this completely different demographic to what I'm used to. He's like the, the flip oh, side yeah, to the red letter. Yeah. The So, like, so like he, he loved Suicide, Suicide Squad, we for example. We know we're going to hate it, then. Mm-hmm. If he loved it, yeah. we know we'd hate it. Yeah. Oh. And we did. Oh, yeah. I'm sure we'll get into that in a bit. Yeah. Um, oh, now I know. Now you know what? No, it's just I've seen clips of Red Media before, but I didn't know that actually. Oh, yeah, like the Plinket yeah. reviews and shit. Jim? Eh. <laughs> what do you mean, eh? You have no no answer. It depends on who's watching it. When do you think that there's something as like objectively bad content, though? Well, when it's just simple. Well, okay, Game Grumps, simple content. That's Definitely a good example. Though. Let's Plays. Yeah. Game Grumps to me, they they're like like the peak, I guess, of let's playing. No. Yeah, I can't fault Game Grumps for what they're doing at all. No, because it's very pro- professionally made. Yeah, there's a schedule, consistent, yeah. consistent, and I like obviously. Yeah, you know, they're Danny almost like mini podcasts, um, which is what I like. Yeah, I put um, it on. Like if I'm doing but then something. compare that to something like Quebble oh, Cop or whatever, which is which is the other side of it, where he just awful. screams for ten minutes mm-hmm. or twenty minutes, or whatever it is. But and that's you, the whole thing. you can't. Say he's bad. He's got millions of people that watch him. Like, yeah, but that doesn't necessarily mean position? it's good. Though. No, I know, but what puts you in a position to say that it's bad for them? Bad for them. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, I'm just saying, saying. I can only it say depends. my opinion. In my, yeah. in my opinion. So there isn't such thing as good and bad. I think. I think he's in saying that. Like his question was, in your opinion, what do you think is good and bad content? Right. Um. So for me. Something like Quibble Cop has no value because you know yeah, just some you know European guy screaming for ten minutes isn't really my cup of tea. And I'd argue there isn't much of value to get away from it apart from completely mindless sort yeah. of entertainment. Well, I think yeah, well, yeah, that's the thing. Though. Mindless to me. And when I think about his kind of audience, they're not exactly fucking critical, are they? Mm. And that's why yeah. I just think no, it is shit then. Yeah, that's what I think. It's like with Suicide Squad. Just because loads of people liked it, it's still fucking appalling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Therefore, Quibble Cop, bad content, full stop. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's my view on it. I can't think of any more. Let's Plays is a big one. Movie reviews and that shit's a big one. What else Let's Plays big? are the biggest, right? Easily. Yeah, yeah. Because um, I don't necessarily like, say, Markiplier, for example, his videos. Like, I'd never really watch a Markiplier video. Um, the only ones I've really seen are his, all well, those Five Nights ones, and I have seen that banana video. But um, comparing Markiplier to, like, Quebble Cop, for example, I think Markiplier does it much better. He's a better personality for a start. He's got the voice. Um, videos are well made, I suppose. He's a bit more of a, for me, a bit more of a role model. For a bit more of a role ma- model and a character. Yeah, then Quibble Corp, who screams, flaunts his apartment and his sports car. Yeah. And, like, I don't know, it's probably his hot girlfriend or some mm-hmm. shit. Yeah, that's the thing. And that's it. I remember hearing somebody talk about that. It was actually it was actually Ygrats talking about it. He says you get a lot of these gamer YouTubers and as if they they buy the sports car so they can show, oh look, this is my status now. I've got this car in this house. Like Syndicate has like yeah. twenty videos of him like yeah, I just crashed my new fucking car. Yeah, and I just bought my dad a new car. Yeah, yeah. and, and Ygrats was just saying like that's not at all what I care about. You know, I mm-hmm. I make a you know, I make enough money and I live comfortably, but I'm not about that. Oh yeah. And I, and he seems to really hate that mm-hmm. to be honest. Yeah. It's fucking obnoxious, and I don't get why people don't have more of a problem with that shit. I, re- I people I just flaunting their cr- their crap. Yeah. Look what you you gave me. This is thanks to you that I get this really nice thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. En- enjoy it with me. <laughs> really enjoy it with me. Wow, clicking like on this video is really making me enjoy it as well. Thanks, syndicate cunt. It's fucking, fucking weird that they I do that shit, shit as well. Because they always say we and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Look at how that we really we got yeah. a million subscribers, guys. Yeah. And I got a fucking Lamborghini. Yeah. Lamborghini, La- sir. <laughs> Lamborghini. You know what's great about what Syndicate, is interesting, though? It's like they get all like blessed about it. You know, you see rappers that do it as well. Mm-hmm. We made a year. I came from the, I'm here because of you. 
and, and it's like the same thing they have all this shit to show their status because yeah. like, that's just the fucking culture of it mm -hmm. but that's the way it's become for these shithead gaming YouTubers, YouTubers yeah. as well yeah. Yeah. And it's always the we thing Yeah, I love my fans <laughs> to be honest I think rappers probably do like their fans they probably care a little more yeah. than the fucking yeah. bullshit game of the videos, syndicates the fucking yeah. club I think there, there is a bit of a difference between like with that there is a difference between your game grumps. Mm -hmm. I would put Markiplier in as well because he doesn't really flaunt shit. No, Jack He's like buddies with game grumps. And yeah, exactly. So Jack that whole circle yeah. compared to your Quibble Cops, the, the like the gaming lemon, or whatever the fuck he's called. That whole circle. But there's like Quibble Cop and his cunt friends. Basically, I don't know their names. Yeah, they're yeah. just shitter versions of him. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Yeah, there is there is a bit of a disparity between the two in terms of quality. I reckon. Because well, I look at down. okay, Quibble Corp, he'll release like what? what was he doing two videos every day? Probably. And they get like one. two million, three million views each video. Maybe a bit less than that. Oh, okay, so like point one point five million, let's call it, or just a million at least per video. Yeah, okay. It's gonna happen, and it's only him, on his own, yeah. making awful content. I look at people like Game Grumps. There's like, fucking ten of them. It's now. Basically, a studio at this point. Yeah, it's a studio and. They get well, they get less views mm -hmm. uh, per video. That's just a fact. They put a few, they put more up than them, but they seem way like probably at the core of it, way happier with their. But they're probably more complete as people, actually. Definitely, yeah. Quite well yeah. yeah it's that's interesting, gonna, isn't just it? He's going to kill himself eventually. He'll <laughs> run out of money and kill himself. Yeah. No, but it's, all, it's the difference in the like the Quabble Cops. You wouldn't actually want to meet those people in real life because you mm -hmm. can just tell by the way they are. But like the Game Grumps, they they wouldn't be bad people to meet. And, like they have stories, they have like opinions on things, things to say. Well, they're yeah. not all fucking twenty-one year olds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. makes yeah. a diff. If you haven't seen this is twenty, but if ever, if you like Eager Raptor or whatever for any reason, you haven't watched his Mega Man X series, then you should probably What's watch it. Could, no, no, it's Mega Man. Oh, the... He's doing a Mega Man X playthrough where he's just on his own. Okay, so yeah, it's yeah, quite, it's to quite just eager Raptor talking. It's interesting just hearing him talk about yeah. it. Because he's quite serious. Do you remember when Game Grumps started and then loads of people started trying to do that at the same time? Yeah. Um, that didn't work out, did it? No. No, that's like a YouTube thing, though. When something gets big, then everyone tries to do it. Yeah. Replicate so, it. Yeah, so many people failed. I remember, like... What really sort of nailed for me what like okay well these guys standing around was their first merch merchandise video mm. him and john just like yeah being really weird in front of mm -hmm. the camera I'm like, welcome to frank sinatra's warehouse where does that come it's from? fucking weird yeah, yeah. Where, where did that come from <laughs> See, well, they know, the, yeah they know what they're doing there's the answer then we actually answered it properly this time there you go i can't Absolute think of any more types of youtube videos yeah Aren't just so niche that it's like legit food review. We'll bloggers, I guess, but like I don't, I don't really know anything about bloggers. I don't, I don't watch any of that shit, particularly. I just don't care. Yeah, I'm sure there I are don't. some good ones I out there. I don't care about what somebody's doing with their life. If like that's the whole thing. Like, yeah. Seager Raptor did a little vlog. I will watch it because Seager Raptor. Or yeah. If I yeah. keep talking about him just because it's who I was talking about. But like when Max Mofo goes somewhere, I watch that vlog mm -hmm. as well. Because they're if, already if, like established. There's a difference fact. between yeah, if you're a vlogger by trade, I don't care what you're doing. Yeah, there's life. a difference between doing a vlog and being a vlogger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And for me, like with gaming videos particularly, I don't get much out of people just playing the game and screaming about it. I want to hear what they think about the game and shit. That's what I like about Jim Sterling or whatever. They're actually saying what they think about the game, making jokes left and right, but while actually. When you, you can leave the video a little bit more knowledgeable like we're about to talk about this in a sec but I was watching his Watch Dogs 2 like he does a little thing where he just plays it and talks about his opinion on it and from that you can learn you know what what because for me whether you'll like it yeah, yeah whether you do want to play it exactly yeah which is like valuable to me in a certain way in terms of entertainment but if he was just mm -hmm. fucking running around killing people screaming yeah. Like, I, I don't it's understand. Gonna, oh, this is so fun. It's like the scene on his thing where it's just laughing mm -hmm. for however long it is. He doesn't, does he even play like current games? It's just, yeah, it's yeah. just prop hunt like it's every day and still, people still watch it for some reason. Let's go have a look at his channel. So. I used to actually watch scene on quite a bit, but a long time ago. I though. used to watch him as well back in the day when he'd play Call Then, then he had like this big switch where he yeah. stopped doing whatever content that was. Well, he left Machinima, didn't he? Yeah, they yeah all that did. was the shift really for me. All that was left was, uh, and then he got into, Suck. it was before the 10.01 thing on YouTube. He started uploading like three, four minute videos every day. And this I think still, now it's probably the 10.01 thing. He still thing. has this pinned video here. Hunted by Morgan oh, Freeman, bracket oh, the hidden bracket. That's so old. Funny gaming montage. <laughs> Seen Anna's gaming channel, 27 million views four years ago. That's the pinned video. Yeah. It's got 5.6 5. million <laughs> subs. 
He got on three days ago. He put a video up, six hundred two thousand. Five days ago, six hundred four. One week ago, seven hundred thirty-nine. Yeah. He's doing just fine. Oh yeah, he's, he's been around for ages. I'm not even like angry about that because like you know he's he's just turned it into yeah. the most sort of money making cynical business well, yeah, thing that's possible. All he's got left now. Yeah, because all of his buddies don't don't do it anymore. But yeah, he's the one that's done the best. The one with all the facial hair still does it. Hutch, Hutch. but he gets like thirty views. Yeah, because yeah. he stepped away from it mm -hmm. and he didn't change. With he the did time. it the wrong way in terms yeah. of like. Popularity or whatever. And he he changed, didn't change at the times. He's still just doing like what he was doing before. Yeah. COD commentary. Mm hmm. I, I, enjoy I forgot the whole COD commentary thing. They were a thing. The commentary channels are not a new thing then at all. No, no, not at all. Because now it is, it's kind of morphed into the whole I want it humor thing. But back then it used to be just like talking about shit while playing COD. Yeah. That was it. I fuck, I remember that. Like, fuck, the notorious Iceman. The old. Yeah, so he, he was a commentary was, was channel, ch channel technically. Christ. Yeah, he oh, was. Fuck, because that was back in the day of um, Black Ops One, uh, Modern Warfare Three. And yeah. Black Ops and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and tag stealing. Yes. Just filling your. That's how I found him because he stole a Rooster Teeth yeah. videos tags. <laughs> I was just recommended that, and then I started following him as like a joke. You had some fun with him. Now I'm a big fan of the Iceman. <laughs> Good old times. So, should I, should I tweet just by? No, we probably got. I I, I want to talk about something well, no, I was specifically, and then leave it. Obviously, because we've got yeah, go ahead, fucking just do it. There's no harm in it. Um, have you, so, uh, yeah, exactly. what what seen Ethan's most recent video? No. About the uh, the pranksters. No. They're now just fucking Elsa and Spider Man videos, like big. Really, they're yeah. doing that now. They're they what? know because in you know, Elsa videos? and Spider Man, there's like toy channels. Oh, who yeah, just yeah. dress up as. Ethan Bradbury does that because wow. they show all the cars they own, and on their Twitter, it says the exact same cars and everything. Really? Yeah. It's, it's shocking because Ethan did a original video on it and they were like 6k views, but now they're like it. hundreds of thousands. Wow. Well, it's Elsa and fucking Ubisoft Spider videos. Like fully rendered vaginas for uh, Watch Dogs 2. There are fully rendered vaginas in the game. Why? Uh, I don't know. And they're being. They said they're going to remove it. People have complained, that, uh, obviously. So if you're not there's fully, over. Like, fully rendered vaginas in Watch Dogs 2, so now they're removing them. Wow. That's wow, guys, weird. you need to be more accepting. You're like, you'll do dicks, but not pussies. Wait, you did a pussy? That's objectifying women! As soon, yeah, as, soon as, as soon as female genitalia. Are... Dicks. There's been dicks in games before. There's, so. there's dicks in GTA, I exactly, know. That. Yeah. There's, there's that famous hot Witcher? coffee thing from um, GTA. That's pretty lol. San, yeah. San Andreas. With yeah. two fully clothed fucking low res mm -hmm. people. Like, and people. it has this bad rep now for some reason. It's like, come on. I know. Yeah, it's pathetic. Yeah. Gaming still hasn't kind of got into that thing where you can, you know, movies and TV can get away with showing the odd a dick and a butt and a pussy. Yeah, you're not like allowed to fucking... show a wrecked dick on TV, though. That's true. It's too um. But then, like, can you think of any scene that would have been enhanced by just having a big floppy? Well, you know, not floppy, the opposite no, of floppy. Will like, this scene never, ever be? In, uh, in uh, Trance, that weird movie with James McAvoy. Mm -hmm. and that was just a new. Was it, dinner. Was it Rosario Dawson actually? Yeah, I think so. Just, just, just close-up shots of her vagina. She was just like, "I shaved my pussy just for you," or some shit. Yeah, because he was all about that. Because art, it was so weird that movie. Yeah, it's the one I like the less I think yeah. about it. Well, yeah. at first I was like, I like less the more I think about it. Sorry. Trance. Danny Boyle film. Yeah. It was like oh. trying to do this Inception type thing. Yeah, he was like hypnotized to forget about this person mm. because he was like a dick. But then he ended up back there yeah. again. It was, it's. Shit. I'll tell you know. what though, like Transporting 2 actually looks pretty good. Yeah, I was, it I does was, look. I was just gonna say, I watched the trailer. I yeah, I haven't watched Transporting 1. No, yeah, that's, that's one. a classic one. I, should really I need to rewatch it. Anything gets like spoiled or whatever. Yeah. Because I've managed to avoid it. That's one I could actually see a sequel working for as well. And now that it's been so long as well. Yeah. Yeah. When did the original come out? Like, got a long time ago now. It, 90s? I think it was yeah. probably was the early 90s. Yeah. Yeah. Danny Boyle is pretty good. He, he has some hit and miss movies though. Because right, he did Sunshine as well. He did Sunshine, which just, I don't really like. Which is hit then miss. Yeah. Yeah. But, but like I think he's made more films that I like than just like like really like. He did as well. Twenty Eight Days Later, right? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's he did. Good. That's good. Yeah. With Killian Murphy. Mm hmm. Yep. Plate face. Ah, I just remembered the fucking really good song from Peaky Blinders that I'd forgotten about. <laughs> I'm gonna open the door for a bit. Yeah, it's hot. A bit hot. Don't, don't open, open it too far. Oh shit. Don't open it's fucking that. cold. Yeah, don't open it, that. It was pushed up. Argy will come in. It was pushed up and then you open that made it push, pull open. So pressure. this is a segment yeah. I'm going to add from now on. Just quickly. What? Um, 
just to, for an initial easy to talk about thing. Um, just a roundup of what we're listening to, watching, and playing. I s- I've, I've thought about fucking. We should have done this from the get go. Yeah, I don't know why the fuck we haven't done that. Yeah, I suppose people might come for that bit. We should probably start doing it at the start. Yeah, that's what I was going to do, but we yeah. specifically had that question yeah, right, which yeah. from last week. And then week. led us on to a million other things. Yeah. Ooh, so, who wants to start with this one? James. James, what are you playing or watching at the moment? Or listening to? Playing. St- still playing Battlefield. Battlefield 1? Yeah. Watching Berserk. And oh, I've been starting to watch more wait, movies. Wait, slow down. Battlefield 1. Yes. This is your, like, fave game at the moment. Yeah, I love it. It's, it's, like, too, it's just simple enough to be like entertaining about the whole like complex yeah. like kill shit. Like, is it your favorite battlefield, probably? Easily, it's probably the best battlefield. Really? Yeah. I'm still. Uh, All three of you have played it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm still like battlefield four. Fuck me in my bum, more please. Yeah. Also, just yeah. on note that they made the Mars automatic, forty-five base damage instead of thirty-four. They so it's even it. better. Yeah. Oh, so oh, the fuck pit, yeah. That's, that's the g- huge one. Yeah, the really fucking huge. insane one. Yeah. Sorry but, for anyone that doesn't play that. I mean, fuck all to you. I've been yeah. starting to watch more movies. Like I said to you, like two weeks ago, that I've actually watched old, the original Wild Boy. Oh yeah, fucking fantastic like that? movie. Yeah, really, 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 really I knew the spoiler when great. I watched it. I, I think I did. Which a bit of a shame, but I didn't. So it was still really. Did good, you know though. the twist? I knew the twist spoiler, spoiler, but the way yeah. they built well, it up right at the end. Let's let's not say what it is though. Well, because I knew the twist, I couldn't tell like when I would have worked it out when I was watching. I was like, would I have worked it out by now? No, no. Because I knew it the whole time. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't think you would. No, there's no way of knowing. Yeah, like, how would you know? It's not one of those ones where they give you... Because when like, you know it as well, you can see uh, the yeah, reference in it yeah, there. Yeah. Uh, and there. It's, it's, like, so fucking weird. Like, you know the, the part where um, he's first out and he, he gets mm-hmm. an octopus or whatever? Yeah. He just eats the whole thing and then she touches his hand and yeah. he faints. Like, that makes no fucking sense. Like, no. without the twist. Yeah. yeah. But you just sort of accept it when it yeah. happens. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, that's... But the build-up to the twist right at the end is been really away fucking, yeah. so long. Really Human contact made him faint. Yeah, and that's the same with um, what's that M Night film with the ghost Six Sense? Yeah, I think everyone knows the twist for that mm-hmm. at this point. No, Spoiled, I don't think I did. By, um, really? You don't. Well, I I'm not, not without, without you ruining it. Oh. But yeah, well, um, I know that line, but it doesn't mean shit to me because I know fuck all about no, the film. The, yeah, no, it was spoiled to me by um. Was it Jay Gill? No, sorry, Jay. Doxed you. You just said his name. His man. By. Come in my pants by what's it called? The Lonely if, Island. Yeah. Oh. That that song spoils the movie. Yeah. Well, it's it's so old at this point, and it's one mm-hmm. of those ones where yeah, there's a bunch of movies that actually really it really impacts the movie if you know the twist. Fight Club is another one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I didn't know the twist. For Fight Club. That, I knew so that. Was like, like, yeah, I knew the I was twist. Like, well, fuck me, that was insane. Yeah. 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 And even now when I watch it, it's still like, well, this is insane. Uh, that's one movie. Next week, I'll watch that and get back to you on that. What, Fight Club? Never seen it. Don't even know the spoiler for it. Oh, oh really? Well, let's not say anything then. Yeah, I'll watch it. Because I know it's like you've talked about it. I don't know like, the Sixth Sense one still, so you can't talk about that either. I don't know it consciously. Actually, really? no, that's a thing. You say a movie, I'll watch a movie and next week. I'll say about it. Because I don't watch movies and you guys watch movies, so I know nothing about yeah, it. That's true. Maybe, maybe James will say an anime and we'll all watch it. Um, yesterday, three was, of us watched... Was it, it wasn't one of the things you said music. Yes. Fat John. He's in the Samurai Champlo OST, which I've said about Weaving 2, and New Jabez, but he's really good. Well, how did you find that? Fat John. YouTube. New Jabez. Just YouTube. YouTube. Yabe or whatever. Fat John. Good music. Very chill. Ruben? I thought we were going to talk about Suicide Squad just then. Yeah, we're going in a sec. Right. I lost my segue. I've been playing like Skyrim, pretty much. Mm-hmm. That keeps crashing. Yeah, Gears of War 4, mm-hmm. a whole bunch. Timeful 2 a little bit. Yeah. yeah, and Watch Dogs recently. Watch Dogs Two, that is not Watch Dogs One. Yeah, let's subject not myself touch that to yet. that. Yeah, yeah. Me and Jim were looking at the most played games on Xbox Live yesterday. Yeah, and um, Titanfall is below Halo Five now. It's below Elder Scrolls Online. That's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. really because EA, EA ruined it. Yep, they fucked it. Should have released. Well, it like in when January you go on the game, February. I can you can feel how dead it is, and it makes you not want to play it. You yeah. Know, what am I even doing here? The thing is, it's so good. Yeah. Like to the point where. When I was first playing it, it's like uh, I prefer playing it to Battlefield One. Well, really? Battlefield I've heard it out of the four big shooters well. that released this year, it's the worst one. What well, Titanfall? Mm-hmm. How? No. Who said that? No. Cods. Have I'm not going to say who, but I've heard. That's what I've heard. Well, whoever it is, is uh, I hate them. When, on, on, this is on, comp- this is difficult well, what, competition though. Cod sucks. For, All right. I've Doom, played. Cod, Doom. Battlefield. Yeah, Doom's a first-person shooter. This year. Yeah, it came out this year. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. Just early this year. 
I, hate I haven't played Doom. I hate that game. Mm -hmm. I don't. I do not like it at all. Mm. So I, ca I can't comment. This is just like second. Yeah, Battlefield One. I've been playing, but I just the only one I played is Doom. Not a big fan of it. No. Well, I like it, but I just don't really care as yeah. much. Yeah. So like in terms of before. campaign out of Battlefield One and Titanfall, Titanfall wins. Really? Definitely. That's the opposite of what I've been hearing. No, well, because, that's because everyone because gets when it, sucked when it, in by like yeah, the whole story. When it comes bit. down to it, the graphics in Battlefield One is better. The presentation is better, but the gameplay it's like just boring first person stealth. Yeah. Really easy, boring first like person stealth. stealth in Battlefield One. Yeah, it's yeah. stealth because you like get dropped. Like, when you're, when you're in a tank, it's cool. When you're in a plane, it's cool. Whereas time, all the other there's like a whole is section boring. where you I kind of want to play it. Two time periods constantly. Yeah, so you're running and then you've got to change time in midair. But there, there's so. enemies in both, so you have to try and keep on top of like where you are, mm -hmm. which mm. enemies are in which time zone, and there's like other missions where the area is being built around you and you're like wall running and stuff yeah. that's being built. Is it so really like, difficult? Um, it's actually quite challenging. It is, it is quite challenging. I did it on normal. Mm -hmm. and it's challenging. I don't know how anyone would do that on the hardest difficulty. Yeah. It's just it seems like the actual story is like so shit though. Yeah. And I and I only have so much patience yeah. for that. Well, the though. only thing you'd really care about is like the, I guess the t story between the Titan and the pilot. Yeah. Nothing else matters. No one cares. That's the thing because like with Doom, it kind of embraces that whole mentality of stupid video game stories, yeah. and it's just like fuck all of this. <laughs> and he's just the main character is like shut up, I don't care. Well, he's like physically doing that. He never talks, but. <sighs> I'm trying to think. That's like, in I just terms of same... actual mission design. Yeah. Battlefield 1 is like... But the storytelling is way better in Battlefield 1, from what I understand. Yeah. But yeah. but even then, way easier. It's like five completely separate short stories. Yeah. Like really and where, short, the, where like the story is basically most. just... It's, it's almost incomparable, isn't it? Yeah. It's like two completely different ways of doing what they're doing. But performances as well, yeah. way worse than Titanfall. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. It's actually, it's but really then a... considering, like, Titanfall was made very fast... Yeah, the mm. voice of the Titans actually one of those like movie announcer voices. You can probably yeah. hear it quite often. But then when I searched yeah. the voice actor, I was like, oh, no wonder he just sounds like that all the time. Yeah, he's just one of those TV and movie trailer voices. Mm. It worked though, weirdly. Yeah, um, I haven't really watched a whole lot for a while. I've been away from my computer, so yeah, I haven't been watching. I haven't anything. been able to watch anything. The most recent thing I watched was Suicide Squad, but we'll talk about that. In yeah, a bit. in a sec when it gets yeah, to me. That was shite. And you've been playing similar games, haven't you, Jim? Well, I, hey, I yeah. didn't say what I've been listening to. Go on, then. I've been listening to Run the Jewels, mm -hmm. Mad Villainy, and... Or Mad Villain, sorry. The album's called Mad Villainy. And I'm getting fucking spammed with likes from the fucking podcast subjects tweet, and it's really distracting me. That's about it. Kanye West. There you go. Listen to those three at mm. the moment. Kane. The old Kane dog. Kanye. You fucking cunt. Kane. The I fucking hated dog. it when people would call him Kane. <laughs> <laughs> Jim? Um... What have you been playing most? Most? Well, I don't know if... Apart from... I, I've been playing Bloodborne. Oh, yeah. Did the first part of Bloodborne. Got my asshole ripped to pieces. Like, harder than any other Dark Souls. Really? Yeah. It's way harder. Well, it, it, it isn't inherently harder. It's harder because I'm used to Dark Souls. Yeah. So it would probably be it's easier a, but, for me, for example. Yeah, but the whole, the whole first chapter, basically, is instilling in you to play differently and the last boss of the area... Is like your exam to get through. Yeah, like I remember seeing you play. Game. It. Yeah, but it the thing really is, back then I u that's I was using. Smart, actually, isn't it, to do it yeah, way. it's really fucking mm -hmm. clever. Because they know what be loads of. That's that's like place. how you do a boss fight. You you have an area that trains yeah. you, and then that's the test. And when I did it before, I had that axe, yeah. which is way easier than the weapon I'm using now. The weapon I have now is a cane that you like flick, and then it turns into a whip. Oh yeah. And it's fucking cool. And to turn it back, he like slams it into the ground. Yeah. It's super sweet, but um Yeah, first boss. I was fucking It's like a werewolf thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's a guy, and then when you get him to like a quarter health left, he yeah. turns into a werewolf. Yeah. Because that's like the story everyone like all the hunters, you're a hunter. You're yeah. Turning into that shit. But yeah, he fucks me up. Cause not only obviously you have to beat him that first time. Then the move set changes and you get fucked again. I like the visual design of that game a lot. Yeah, I, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I think the visual design is better than Dark Souls. I actually uh, would want to play that game. Yeah, I do as well. But I, I, I still, I don't know. One, I think I like Gothic, but I think I got fed up with it because I did studied it in English. So I'm like, I like it, but fuck off forever now. All right, <laughs> that's enough. Because I, I always had it described in so much lavish fucking detail in every cunting book mm -hmm. that we had to read. Do not like the PS4 controller though. 
Oh yeah, fuck yeah, that. Yeah, it sucks. Like, it, it's, it's better than the PS3 controller. Yeah, oh, but the nice. PS3 They're controller like, was awful. The worst it's thing fine ever, yeah. Now. But you know, you know the triggers? Yeah. Like, they don't have a thing on the bottom blocking them. So if you put the controller down... Yeah. It, it's gonna press one of the triggers. Yeah. Which is fucking annoying and... Mm -hmm. Bloodborne. This, this, now th this opens the pissy commenters who are... Mm -hmm. No, fuck you. It's a fact. The Xbox One, Xbox One controller is better. Yeah. It's the best controller that to exist. Mm -hmm. so yeah, it is. And like... Sorry, lads. I meant the Wii U gamepad. And as someone who has stock invested in Microsoft, buy the Xbox One, <laughs> you yeah. fucking assholes. You know, Microsoft own me, by yeah. the way. When you buy an Xbox One, they implant a chip into your head, which means that you can only praise them yeah. without fail mm -hmm. or question. Okay? <laughs> And that's why I'm doing this. It's not because I'm being objective as someone that's used both controllers for periods of time. I think Xbox One is better. Just, just is not that at all. Yeah. You know, I hate that thing. Who of fucking? Like, if oh, I say you're an Xbox player, yeah, but we all had PS2s, didn't we? Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. And I was a diehard Wii defender for ages. Yeah. Like, that was around the. T I was about the age with the Wii shit, where I guess all these commenters are coming from, where because. You, you're allowed like one console, you yeah. get it, and then you have that's your thing. You have to defend it. Whereas now I have everything. He's actually got my Wii U. Yeah. He's got everything. <laughs> Never played it, but <laughs> the, the, so I can be objective. Like, yeah, games run best, look best on PC. So yeah. what? So fucking what? I actually, I actually did load up Gears of War on my PC earlier. Mm -hmm. Gears of War 4 looks very good on it's it. It's crazy, actually, yeah. how good it looks. Mm -hmm. But Is I'll it? still jump between playing it on Xbox <laughs> One. What but exclusives are there on Xbox One, though? Like Forza. There's, there's Halo, Gears, Forza, Gears. Forza, Forza. 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 Sunset Overdrive. Well, we've got Forza is the best. Like, that's not gonna, you, like, Forza I'm, is way better. I'm, I'm just thinking, like, no, I don't like, think any of them. Are, no, but it's an exclusive. Though. Yeah, but it's not gonna ever get a sequel. So it's just like was. But like, right. I'm, just, I'm just listing yeah. you know, exclusives. Uh, Time for one. I'm just thinking, like, <laughs> I don't think any of those are better than Bloodborne. No, that was the argument I saw as well. Yeah, but like, PS4, PS4 have have less definitely, but um, I. Don't really like Halo Five. I'm not that crazy for first-person shooters. Mm -hmm. Gears, I literally only play it because we play Horde. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. If I you mean, guys I never played it, I, I, like I would even touch like it. Campaign though and all that shit. So. Mm. But like, Bloodborne is something special. Yeah, it's, it's just. I, mean, I feel like it's just quite commitment. Because like, quite. Yeah, definitely. That's the problem. It's like, me. especially you, where you sit down and play a game like. You know, rarely a lot of my compared favorite to games. You'd have to commit. A lot of my favorite games are like better on PC, but I still choose to play on Xbox because I just feel yeah. more at home there. So it's not like I give a fuck about Uncharted being on PS4. Yeah. I play it once and that's enough. Yeah, we the played it once. Us, yeah, yeah. The but I play it twice and that's enough. Yeah. Like with Uncharted, it's not a game you replay. No. That's like mm. a one-time cinematic experience. Maybe you go a bit close to your mic, Ruben. It's a bit quiet for some reason. Uh, maybe the fans like play through it on normal then hardest. Yeah. Yeah. Like with, with games like Bloodborne, you. I guess it's like what we. It's like Uncharted for some people is it was like or was our Halo thing where we just play it on normal and then we play it on the hardest difficulty just for like fun. I guess. But, like you could with I, that. That's but Halo is like a co-op. So you that's do it true, with yeah. friends, but Uncharted's not. It's yeah. Just, just straight up. Yeah. Well, I mean, Uncharted Four was good. Yeah. Um, good campaign. Never finished it. <laughs> but like. It's just a one-time thing. I, I do think The Last of Us is just significantly better than every Uncharted. Well, yeah, because game. the. The thing I'll always remember from Uncharted 4 is the thing they showed at the E3 demo. Yeah, that's so. the best part in the game, and they wrecked it. Yeah. Sorry, everybody, that was actually a oh, is that the bridge question thing? about if you use our code, does it benefit us with the loot oh, yeah. crate thing? So I was just saying, yeah, well, yeah. you can't can specify that. Or, no, we, uh, no, I didn't say that because I didn't want to pressure anybody. If they use our code, we get benefit, but like, I don't give a fuck. Oh, the we, I thought. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it, it, it would cost a little more for them because there's another code they have that's better. And I was like, look, you do what you want, man. It would benefit us, but you do what you want. Right? Yeah. Do whatever's better for you, actually. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about But the they're consumer. still going to use ours, they said. So I'd uh, appreciate it. Thank. Thank you, thank you. Thanks. Cheerio. Speaking of Halo, it was a nice Halo box. Uh, and I fucking, what was even weirder was uh, the video went out on 15th anniversary of Halo. I didn't even realize. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone pointed out that was a good one. It was a good one. Yeah. On the 15th anniversary. Oh, yeah. Now you can tell the loot crate person that, and they'll be like, Whoa. Good job, Spartan. Have four more. Yes. Yeah. Have enough until the 20th anniversary of Halo. Yeah. When it's dead. And you, you dudes have been playing Watch Dogs 2. Yeah. Um, the Not sequel to my yet, most though. hated game of all time. Um, I, I despise Watch Dogs 1 with all of my being. I fucking d hate that game. 
I fucking hate that game so much. <laughs> I, don't I don't think it's, it's the game that ruined gaming for me. I don't think it's a game that you can hate that much because it's so grey. It's like... It's I, I'll tell gray. you why. It's, it's like game. someone shows you the color gray and says, "Do you like this color?" You can't say. <laughs> well, I no. like the color gray just, though. I'm just like it ha it's necessary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at these socks, dude. Nice socks, right? This is gray. Like they're fine. It socks. was the tipping point for me. That was the problem with it. It was it's the one. It was uh, the one that made me just go, "Wait a minute. This is fucking awful. This is just terrible." I remember. I remember the exact moment that it hit me. I was doing because. There was like this wheel you could open, and it had all the like chunks of like yes. quests you'd build towards unlocking I was actually, shit. I was trying to do it as well. Yeah, and there were these side quests where you'd like go driving or something, do some timing based thing. I, know I was in the middle of doing one of those, and I was like, hang on a second. This is shit. I'm not enjoying this. I'm just doing this like it's work. This is crap. Well, that's because that's how you treated games for like yeah. a long time. Yeah, but I got enjoyment from that for ages. With certain it's games, weird. if you play make, if you play certain games methodically, like Mass Effect, it's like really enjoyable. Yeah, I like the idea of being as leveled up as you can be before doing the next thing. Yeah, if that makes sense. Well, you yeah. in Final Fantasy Thirteen, I remember you'd save and reload the area and fight everything again, wouldn't you? So you were max level. Yeah, I do things shit. like that. Yeah, whereas I was like, possible. once you've, I've killed everything. In a straight line. Yeah. That's enough. Yeah. That was my approach. But that was my actually, way of doing it. And I think yeah. there are other people that do that too. Like I do that with Assassin's Creed and shit. I try and get all the collectibles and stuff. And then when it got to like Assassin's Creed Unity, it was just impossible. That half, map, half of them were just the, locked. Well, for a start, the map was so laggy, it was impossible to try and yeah. like, look at yeah. anything. Yeah, like fucking game. It's just Ubisoft. I don't uh, trust them by anymore. By the way, lads, when you go to this chest, get your phone out. Yeah. yeah. Con connect with it <laughs> yeah. awkwardly. Yeah. And then do a hell. puzzle. And if you get it right, <laughs> you'll get a nice little treat. I just don't want to. I don't want to support Ubisoft anymore. I think they suck. Mm -hmm. I think they're the worst now. They make the worst games. I hate Activision more. You do, honestly. Yeah. yeah. I feel like COD uh, games are better though. They're a better quality build. Of I'd game. rather play Watch Dogs too. Yeah. Than like COD. So. I'd rather play COD. I'd rather play COD over it. I just fucking hate Ubisoft. I don't like Watch Dogs. I don't like the idea of it. it just looks boring. Yeah. Well. <laughs> the Watch Dogs 1 story is so bad. Yeah, it's awful. But then, like, <laughs> every Ubisoft like game it. story is. I kind of like, I laugh every, at that every, game now. Almost every game story is. Oh my yeah, god. It's, so like, more often than not, game stories are terrible. The, but that one, in particular, it didn't even have any good characters, was the thing. And that had, um... The guy you the play Asian as. Asian guy. The, the completely forgettable Asian guy yeah. who's just <laughs> don't even know Asian his name. guy. Yeah. Remember just, that was the moment. I was just like, fuck this. Just fuck this game. I, I've noticed though, like Watch Dogs, like one, it, the the concept of like hackers was just like really deep and edgy, and now Watch Dogs Two is like that memer hacker memer yeah. kind of view on it. All of the well, marketing is like embrace opposite. the hacking within and shit. The memes, yeah. like loads of troll faces stupid, and yeah. memes. It's yeah, <laughs> it's like they, they went the complete opposite. The yeah, they went so stoic and and boring originally with Watch Dogs One, and now they've gone to the complete extreme. Where it's now like over the top cringe. I mean, do you just remember like how <laughs> good the game was meant to look as well? Yeah. And how fucking crazy and cool it was all meant to yeah. be. Yeah. And then it was just fucked. Yep. And then PC players, like, they didn't give up. No, we're going to have our good graphics. Yeah. And some of them did. Mm -hmm. Didn't change the fact that the yeah, game was didn't shit. Didn't make the game good. Yeah. It's like like The Witcher had a, a downgrade from some of the trailers, but no one well, cares. No one gave a shit. Yeah, no one cares because the game was actually yeah, the, good. Yeah. But no, they, they released um, this gameplay trailer, and it was like 15 minutes long. I think it was the reveal of, trailer. What, of what, Watch Dogs? No, no, I'm talking of um, Witcher. The Witcher. Hmm. And the graphics looked so fucking good. That like, you just knew it would be impossible. Yeah. The, the thing is, I thought the same thing about Arkham Knight. Like, how can this game come out mm -hmm. and just not be completely broken? Because it still it looks... PC, for the record. Yeah, it was. But it still looked as good as like the original stuff they showed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's, never got that's, any worse. That's the only one time I can actually yeah. think of. Though, I was actually like, thinking about that game today. I was thinking about the bit where you're putting the car, you're putting the Batmobile into that guy's head. That's how fucking good it all looks because yeah. the angle yeah. and the detail and the it's light. Constantly like, raining. It just looks ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. It's so it's good. Raining, yeah. yeah. See, that's a game where I don't like the story, but the campaign's really fun because there's enough good characters, shit that's yeah. happening, good dialogue. And the way you care told. about and the way they, it's they've, told. They've done shit that, like, I wouldn't expect from any game. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like, people really 
put Naughty Dog up there as the storytellers, but I think that mm. game's way more. Yeah, definitely. It takes way more advantage of the fact that it's a game than mm. like Uncharted Four. Yeah, yeah. No, which it, tries to be a movie, pretty much, just yeah. long. Yeah, that's just game. Naughty Dog's thing, though. Yeah, but I think like Don't in terms know. of what Naughty Dog is praised for, they're talking about The Last of Us. To me, mm. like yeah. they're not talking about Uncharted, even though people are. To me. Uncharted is just, just so forgettable. Like they always yeah. say, the story's so good, but no, no, no the story's terrible. No, no, no. The story's completely forgettable. I think the fourth one is the only one that's had a different story. But with that yeah. said, I don't. But it still had like the twist halfway through yeah, the, the betrayal character the and the yeah. You know, like was it? It was all just for money in the end, wasn't it? Uh, like gold in a boat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, but but that's not what what's important. What when people say the story's so good, they yeah. mean the characters are so good, the writing is so good in terms of dialogue. Yeah. And you know action scenes and whatnot. I won't deny that. They are good. Exactly, yeah, they're really good. Um, it's just yeah, a shame they ruined the best one. You won't ever have seen this, everybody, but we did a list last year. We did, like, a best games of 2015. Oh, yeah. And we never released it. Yeah. But, like, whatever. But we... <laughs> We were all like, us three were like, nah, Batman, nah, because we were all burned by it for some reason. I don't know why. What was the list though? I can't we, remember it. We didn't want to put Batman in it. We want, we, I think we agreed Witcher would be number one. Yeah, we agreed yeah Witcher, that. definitely. But it was but a good year, though. Put, it was yeah. a good year, though, to yeah, be fair. But we didn't want to put Batman on the list. But now I would have put Batman on there at, like, number fucking three. I'd have to see our list, to be honest. I, Fallout, Fallout was on there. Fallout, Fallout was. was on there. Oh, oh, yeah. Fallout, I, Metal Gear Solid was. Fallout is, like, I'd put Batman over Fallout now. Because I'm thinking it would have been Witcher... Batman, uh, uh, Batman, I would say. Metal Gear. I'd say Batman. Metal, Metal Gear was Metal Fallout, Gear. and what was the fourth? I think it was Ori. Because we, we, it was Ori. all like a vote thing for yeah. everyone's well, I was favorite. All about, I was like, yeah, Ori. And you were like, no, Batman instead of Ori. I don't know why we didn't just get rid of fucking Fallout, yeah. honestly. Yeah, Fallout. Oh, way it's because I hadn't played it, so... I hadn't done a second play for a Batman, then I did one. And you just told me where to get every fucking Riddler trophy, and we finished yeah. the whole game. <laughs> it's like I'd, if I had, if oh, I was, wow, that's the best game ever. If I was handed a copy of Fallout and Batman right now, I'd happily just play Batman again. Yeah. But looking yeah. back on it, Fallout is definitely not top five. It's, it was a good no, game. definitely not. Good, it game, a good game, but it's not just like yeah. top five worthy. Like, I just, when I started playing Skyrim Remastered, because that's one of the games I've been playing recently. We all have, really. Yeah, um, that game just, like, hooked me immediately, yeah. whereas Fallout, I just got nothing Fallout, out of. You know, I can't I'm, I'm more hooked to Fallout 4 currently than I am. Settlement, yeah, settlement, settlement management. I can't be bothered with that in Fallout. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. If, it's not, you it's don't not easy. It, it's a fucking pain in the ass. Yeah, oh, press back, find every cunting individual in your stupid settlement, tell them to do a thing. Nah. Nah, I want someone to do it for me, all right? Yeah. Just do it all for me. Get more. If I bring in the resources, the thing happens. Just leave it at that. Yeah. On that, well, obviously, because I, I never bought a DLC for Skyrim with a half fire, I think the building for that was good enough because it, like, leveled your smithing and shit. Yeah. And then was, you look at Fallout and you didn't have to do it. And it didn't yeah, look it didn't. shit. You don't have to it do it in Fallout. It looked shit. good. It Every did. settlement in Fallout 4 looks fucking terrible. <laughs> yeah. Unless you spend. It's like the aesthetic of that world, hours. though, isn't it? Everything's supposed yeah, exactly. to look shit. But that's, but that's, like, not an excuse I hate that. for how no, lame it, it looks. Why no, but I don't mind it looking like it's post apocalypse. What I mind is that. They, re they, they, re they released the um, the vault DLC. Yeah, <laughs> yeah impossible to use yeah. because you can't make one because, like, they have the idea of these different sectors where it's like one a power sector and then there's yeah. a, a food place. Yeah, but you can't connect the power one to the food one. So basically, you have to have these just separate things in a big empty space. Yeah, awful. Just in a massive cave, like. How cool idea ruined by execution. Ru ruined by fucking Bethesda. Yeah. Being shit. I like the looseness of... Yeah, it's just... Just, uh, which it's, wing it's do like you want preset. to be this? Which yeah. wing yeah. do you want to be that? And then you fucking... Or make it so you can do a little bit more. Just give you the frame. Yeah. At least. And then you decide from there. Not yeah. It's like Bethesda constantly do that, though. It's like half measures. They take if a good idea and just fuck it up. If they yeah. fucking do that kind of shit in Elder Scrolls 6, I'm going to be so unhappy. I, well. I just want a, I want a big castle, all right, in Elder Scrolls no, 6. I want to live in it. Yeah. That's, the and point. that's all I want. <laughs> if, if you, like you two, if, if like the new Elder Scrolls does all the shit that Fallout 4 did, what? you're going to be so disappointed. Be and that's the no, point. The thing is, I think Fallout 3 is crap. Yeah. Yeah, but you'll, be, you'll understand <laughs> what I mean when I say Fallout New Vegas is better than 4. You'll yeah, understand no. it. Because you're just disappointed by all the fuck shit they've m messed up on. That's what I'm moving forward. Well, the, the thing, with, the thing is, though, like, Oblivion to Skyrim to me is, when I look at them, that's quite a healthy transition. Yeah, it's a massive improvement. I, get yeah. the I, th thing, I think Fallout thing 3 to Fallout 4 is a massive improvement. Yeah. It is. Cause, yeah. like, but it's like, I don't think Skyrim to cunt, whatever it's going to be called. I don't Elder Scrolls Online? 
don't talk, I played we that. Don't talk about ESO <laughs> yeah. around here. Alex, yeah, fucking Bethesda did. That wasn't they get praised Even though it wasn't the first like, they, yeah. That was Xenomax. Yeah. But they get, like, passes on shit that shouldn't... Now that's, that's because they make those beloved games that yeah. people... Like, they, they, made, made, um, they made Morrowind, Morrowind, and they made Oblivion, and they made Skyrim, and they, they made, made Fallout 3. They made a sequel 3. to Fallout, even though, like, the previous ones were better. Yeah. Uh, so Fallout 4 isn't that status, though. It's not... No. I think no. Skyrim's no. their Sk last Skyrim one for now. Skyrim's their peak. Yeah. yeah, and they're gonna have to see if they can continue that with the next Elder Scrolls. Well, well, Fucking hope so. I don't even want them to like improve anything really. Just give me a new map, just with yeah. some new stuff. All right, that's all I want. Just improve yeah. the fidelity of the animations, the character yeah. models. Yeah, that's it. The combat can still be the same. Hit right trigger. It's the same in a first-person shooter. Hit left trigger, then hit right trigger. Mm -hmm. Just make it look better. I think it's now. They were praised back in the day because there wasn't that much competition in terms of like there weren't that many breadth. open world games. Right? Exactly. Yeah. No. So they were, you know, king of the roost for that for that time. But now we're getting your Witcher threes, you're getting your yeah. Metal Gears and whatnot. Where there's I'm actually still, some competition. Well, it's still like if I had to choose to drop into one between Skyrim and Witcher, I'll drop into Skyrim. Then easier, easy, just fucking do. Easy, it but like, it's so much boring. And in Skyrim, where you can do all this shit, all of it is worse than the combat from The Witcher. I think that might be a thing though with like the third person thing element of it. Mm. It can be third person. In Skyrim. And it's not like a third person only game though, is it? No, no, but like... They'd have to add a whole combat system around the game and then have to be third person. Which would be just awful. Technically Skyrim is third person. I feel a lot of the problems I have with Skyrim now are just from playing it so many times. No one plays it. I've done like three saves also previously. the voice acting is atrocious. Half so, and half. Yeah. I wouldn't say half and half, because no. it's not like Yeah, I would half. say half and half. No, because some of it is straight up atrocious. There isn't anyone that's amazing. I don't want anyone it's amazing. Like, I just want it like fine. It's, it's like I don't that. feel like it would be like a waste to have like an amazing voice actor. No, I know, but can't it all just be fine? I mean, a lot of it is fine. Yeah, a lot of it isn't. Again. I'm just like this is all right. Whatever. No, because like, there's notice. You know the uh, follow you get from Dawnguard, the female right yeah. vampire. They, you like talk to her and you talk to some generic woman. There's so much difference in just the voice acting, mm -hmm. and this really fucking. Well, Dawnguard, they did. A, Better, a bit better with the voice acting. They did, yeah. I mean, I've never um, given a shit because I never play the game and listen to what they're saying. I mm. just hit A and I choose yeah, a dialogue yeah. option that seems the most reasonable. There there are a couple, like, really awful voices in some it. Some of it is embarrassing. Yeah, some of it is awful. But then, I mean, <laughs> it's hard to come across a game that vast some that doesn't call have some. Some call this junk. Me, like, I no, call we, them we, treasures. We were saying the other day about Mass Effect. Mass Effect is Mass like Effect's, uh, tons of characters and... Yeah, there's no that's like the bad. only one I can think of though a game that large with the amount of dialogue that doesn't have the all over the place Like I've, I've watched you guys play a lot of Witcher 3 and some of the voice acting is similarly like just awful Yeah, it yeah. it's not compared to Skyrim dude. It was like, f fucking terrible some of what I heard like it was making me wince what was Some of it's fucking crap honestly. Some of the Witcher 3 voice acting some of it's shite like on the same level. Yeah, I don't think it is on the same level. I think it is. I it's actually like think a notch I, above. Like really it's not. Yeah. It's like it's non-intrusive in Skyrim, but in Witcher, you're like forced to hear people. I, no, you can skip shit exactly. Yeah, but it's, it's still. It's it seems like if it was like Mass Effect, but now and again you had a bad voice actor. Yeah, a bit more like that, just purely because of the amount of content acting in Witcher. Don't think of it. Would Ma Mass Effect be? Would be? In my opinion, wouldn't be as high of a Mass Effect if it had that shitty voice acting. Oh, and all oh it'd ruin the game. It, it would fucking wreck it. Yeah, the nothing. You wouldn't feel mm -hmm. like you care about characters. Yeah. Shepard was like delivered every line. Terribly. Even the characters I don't like have good voice acting. Yeah, I don't really like Jack, for example. Got a good, good voice, voice acting. Acting, Yeah, fits the character, and whatnot. I'm pretty sure Jack voices the female protagonist in Fallout Four. I think you're right too. Can you imagine if like Garrus Vakarian had like a Skyrim voice actor voice? Mm -hmm. You know the bit I'm Garrus Vakarian and this is my favourite spot in the Citadel. If it was like <laughs> I'm Garrus Vakarian and this is my favourite spot on the Citadel. That's, to quote that's that for yeah. Farangar Secret Fire of White Run Hold. He's my favourite character in Skyrim. <laughs> 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 I can quote his line to you if you want it, everybody. Who? Yeah, do it. There's this shit Just voice actor. Are you here to what is it? Are you here to discuss the ongoing hostilities with the other great warriors? <laughs> and it's like that. It's just like that. Yeah. And it's, it's like, who is that bad in The Witcher? I can't think of them. But I can, there are I people can that are just like shit. No, it's that the thing where sound. it's like, um, oh, I'm from fucking old England, or whatever, and they all yeah. sound like that. No, but that, but that, that's, that's not bad. But then like, no, but no, some of it is actually bad. Though. Really poorly. Yeah, the delivery of some yeah. of the accents is like what? Like it stood out to me. Oh, and I, I hate the way Siri speaks. She's shit. Don't care anyone says. Her voice acting sucks. Her, her, her voice is just like annoying. Yeah. Siri, terrible. 
Oh, we're gonna get some ire from the Witcher. <laughs> um, How would you like, I fucking love the game, but I hate her voice. So that's that's what I've been playing a lot. That and Gears of War 4. Horde mode's very fun. What, You've been playing that game non stop, Sky. Alex. Yeah. Sorry? No, it's just we went on such a massive tangent. You were like, so that's what I've been playing. That and Gears of War 4. I did, <laughs> like, what, The Witcher? or? Oh, um, sorry, yeah, Skyrim, because we're talking about Skyrim. That's what that all came from. And the, the only movie I've seen recently, well, apart from the one we're about to talk about, um, is called a good movie Hell or High Water. Um, Chris Pine, which I know Ruben's not too keen on. I don't mind him. Um, I always just I always reference him because he's an easy one to reference. But I don't yeah. mind him. I used to despise him, but after Star Trek and, Beyond, uh, Jeff me and Chris Bridges. Pine were good pals. It was a, it's a good understated little drama, which I would highly recommend. Um, good movie. Right, I'll put it on my my list. Um, kind of like a modern yeah, day western, western almost, movie. about a couple of bank robbers. I've never even heard of it. I think you've you've it's one of those ones you don't even need to watch the trailer, just watch the movie, see what it's you think. It's in my watch list already, yeah, you've said about it before. Um, but, let's talk about the movie that isn't good. I liked it. Um, we're talking about Suicide Squad. I haven't we're, seen we're it. We're a bit late to this, right? I've not because seen it. Because we didn't see it at the cinema, we uh, legally watched it. <laughs> um, <laughs> don't pay money for Suicide Squad. No. Suicide Squad's the worst film I've ever seen. I'm yeah, just going to put it out there. Put that it's the worst, the yeah. worst fucking piece of shit movie I've ever seen. I fucking hate Suicide Jim, could Squad. could you make your noise? You know that? <laughs> no. I do that <laughs> and then go. that you asked for it. Is it not time? <laughs> <laughs> what if he did that every time he was going to go into <laughs> yeah. the circle? Where to even fucking begin? Let's begin on the... Uh, should we just go chronologically go through, go through the movie? Go through every character. Well, they introduce them all pretty Oh, quick. my God. Let me preface it by saying... Um, this movie is the worst, like, Hollywood big-budget movie I've yeah. ever seen. Like, oh. previously it was The Amazing Spider-Man 2, which was just hilariously bad. Um, but this is... It's always DC that get, like, the worst of the worst. Yeah. Because they got, like, the Green Lantern as well. But Green Lantern wasn't like this. Green no. Lantern was a coherent film. The Green Lantern is just, like, super generic, boring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just forgettable like, shit. Whatever. Yeah. But this is just straight-up bad. This is... Like, the movie starts with like four trailers in a row for the yeah. for the characters. It's like it's a like four GTA for characters and, uh, being introduced. Well, let me let me name elements of 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 what makes a film. Story, fucked in Suicide Squad. Yeah, Court. there is none. Cinematography just all over the place. Yeah, Pace, some, some pacing. Of it really pacing cool. is the worst thing about it. It's mm -hmm. fuck. There's just scenes. There aren't scenes. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. My favorite thing. I've got to say it now. The movie goes for like an hour. Up to like the bit where they go into that bar, and you can kind of like, okay, these guys uneasy alliance, but they're like they don't want to die, all right. So I get it, they're doing that, mm -hmm. and then they go in the bar, and they're all best friends, and they suck each other's dicks, and they care about each other. Yeah. But then they don't, but then they do, but then they they still do, and they fight, and then they really care, but then they don't yeah. really care, but then they all really care again. It was like it was like they had all these different angles for the film they were going to go for, and then they didn't know what to do, so they were just like, right, fuck it. They, they were desperate that. to have their Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. They wanted it to be like that. Apart from like in Guardians of the Galaxy, it's like uh, they're kind of weird of each other. Yeah. But then they warm. It makes each sense. Other. And, in that but movie. they still have banter with each other. Not yeah. like they fucking change their minds yeah. constantly. Yeah. Like people are saying, no, nah, Harley Quinn's just like that, and they're all fucking psychos, so they're allowed. Fuck you. The movie's terrible. And characters. Um, is it, I'm just going back to the listing things for movies. Awful. Every character is fucking appalling. All of them are these stereotypes, like or nothing. Or nothing. Yeah. They, they literally, <laughs> everything is so telegraphed. You know everything that's going to happen. Everyone has the, like a tragic backstory, which they introduce in like a single line. It's not showed to you. Everything's talked at you. All the characters are bad. The only thing you'd ever get out of this is the fucking pandering. Like I, mm -hmm. I, people use the pandering thing too much, but this is actual pandering to DC fans. Like it's shit. There's nothing. And DC fans will suck it up because they're just DC fans. Yeah. With no like brain. oh, it's that thing I recognize. Therefore, it's good. Like, like that's fine. You in, like, read a, off that review. Like like with Civil War, right? I don't personally like it, but I get why a DC fan would like it because it is thing you Civil things. War. You, it's a, so, is that what I said? Not what I said. You said Civil War, and then you said DC fan. Sorry, Marvel fan. Um, God, it's all just one swirl of just fucking superhero capes in my fucking head at this it's point. Just shit being flushed but down yeah. the toilet. But like Civil War ha has a story. It has scenes. Yeah. Uh, it has like, moments. There's a through line. Yeah, and there's, shit there's moments in it that I'm like, that was neat. Cool. It makes movies like Civil War, which I previously didn't like, look so good in comparison. God, I just remember how bored I was for Civil War. 
But dude, there compared were times, to this movie, well, there were times where I noticed when we were sat in the cinema, God, my my leg really aches. I want to stand <laughs> up. I'm fucking bored. Yeah. But this is about Suicide Squad. Yeah. The movie Suicide we, we have to be angry about. Yeah, Suicide Squad, I did just get up and walk around sometimes. I was like, fuck! There were moments yeah. where I'd just get up and walk yeah. away. <laughs> it's, it's actually unbelievable. It's, it's fucking amazing. unreal. It's it's almost good how awful it is. Like, it's yeah. sort of, there's something engaging about just how crap it is. There, I, I, I did laugh at how shy. Yeah, I laughed multiple times. Killer yeah. Crocs. You were, you were laughing nonstop. I was laughing nonstop because no, I'm like, sure. the whole time I was just like, oh my god, oh, I can't beautiful. believe, I can't believe this is a real thing I am watching. I, I can't believe this exists. The third movie in the DC Cinematic Universe is this. God. What was the third movie in um, the Marvel one? Um, Thor. Iron Man two. Did what? Iron Man two come? I up think it went Thor? Iron Man, Hulk, Iron Man two, Thor. I Maybe. Oh, I can't remember. Sure it wasn't Captain America. Oh yeah, it might have been that. Should I find out? Yeah, find out. Well, I like while the first. Even, even, Iron Man, even Captain Iron America's Man was, better. Iron Man was way better. Five. I fucking hate Captain America. Iron Man was 2005, yeah? No, it was 2008. Yeah, yeah, it was the same year as Dark Knight, remember? So, um, when the Incredible, the Incredible Hulk came out? I the thought, same year, it was like a month later. Oh, it was 2008, okay. <clears> that's, that's why I was confused, I thought it was 07. So I guess... But continuous, continuing to find out what that is, but continuing down this list... Um, soundtrack. The worst soundtrack I've ever heard in a fucking movie. It's all it over ma- the place. It makes no sense. It plays like a new song every five well, minutes. Well, not just soundtrack, not the soundtrack that's... and the score. We have yeah. to, you have to, for this one, we really have to differentiate. Score's crap. The so, score yeah. is even worse than your yeah. plug in Mar- Marvel affair because th- the score never gets any chance to do anything. Mm-hmm. Because every time they don't use the score, they use like a Kanye song for no reason. They use Queen for no fucking reason. Because a trailer Rolling house edited stones. half of this movie. Yeah, it's so fucking bizarre. And you can tell that the first time the Joker's introduced, there's just this clusterfuck scene that's edited like a trailer. They, like, use all these weird purple color effects and warp into the next thing and just cut out big chunks, which is like, no, the stuff you're skipping is is the stuff I wanted to see. You know the part where he's, like, turning Harley Quinn into Harley Quinn? Is that when he was first introduced? I think so, yeah. I may be wrong on that. Don't quote me. It's all just a string of random shit. All right. Yeah, it was Iron Man 2. That was the third one. Yeah, I thought it might be. But two of them came out in the same but year. But even compared to Iron Man 2, that's the thing. The, and the Incredible Hulk barely counts, to be honest. So <laughs> Thor would be the third one, really. Even Thor. Yeah. Thor's still a movie. Like, I don't even consider this a movie. Then it was it's just a America. bunch of scenes. A bunch of random shit. There's no motivation for anything, and nothing makes any sense. The story makes no sense. Oh, they establish that the Flash exists in this universe. Where is he while this world-altering yeah. he was, super event's he going He was down? fucking... Uh, he took out Boomerang Man. Yeah. Captain Boomerang. Yeah. Why wasn't it just Suicide Squad versus the Joker? They already had, like, an okay animated movie to go off. Yeah. Where, where it was the Suicide Squad, that they had some mission, but it was like a small thing. So they yeah, just why, focused why on the it banter. Have to be, it's like the size of something from BVS. Yeah. Yeah, like it show it shows the world, and like half of it is just covered in blue goop or some shit, and it's like, why did you choose these guys to sort yeah. this out? All none of which have been introduced in the previous movies. It's Every really single one shit. is established. Like it's so shit. I can't even. And then like, like there are bad villains, and then there's just like, I don't care. Yeah. Like I don't care about mm-hmm. the film. I don't care. Nothing in it means anything. There's no weight. There's not a single like, likeable there's e- character. There's even less than in the Avengers, because at least in the Avengers you can think, well, maybe there'll be some fucking jokes or a cool scene where they yeah. fight, and this is yeah. just like... I don't think it's even comparable awful. to any yeah. Marvel movie. Suicide Squad is the worst film I've ever seen. Here. It's the worst fucking film I've ever seen in my life. Like, I've seen I've seen some bad films we've watched. We've watched Cool Cat, but yeah. it's different. It is different. They it's didn't have $150 million for a start. That's the thing that fucking gets me. A, a fucking studio backed this movie, yeah. thinking it was a good idea. People worked on this movie, probably worked really hard to get it finished. I've just been looking at the uh, Marvel. And to Jared Leto's fucking Joker. Probably the worst yeah, thing about the movie. This though. film is a joke, but Jared yeah, it, Leto's Joker. It makes me surprised that there are so many people that were like, I like his Joker. Joker was yeah, the only good thing. That's the thing, that like there was this split online. People were like, it's actually not bad. People are saying it's way worse. No, it is as bad as everyone it's just is saying. Shit. It's like nothing. It's just nothing. Yeah. I think it is worth getting angry about. He's just, this is shit that like, you shouldn't though. accept. Well, you should not accept this yeah. fucking film. Well, no, Joker isn't Joker. He's just weirdo with green hair in this movie. Yeah. Well, so, what I don't understand 
You said um, the backstory behind his grill and shit and damage. Yeah. Was never him, touched one once. Him and Harley Quinn like killed Robin or something. Yeah. But then he, he already has the grill when he turns Harley Quinn into Harley Quinn. Yeah, it makes no sense. Like it's, it's uh, you can tell they had way more Harley and Joker awful. shit filmed. That scene is awful. Every scene is the awful. Harley Quinn scene. That's the thing. Well, he like he here's the it. difference between BVS another film I hate. Batman v Superman. Batman v Superman is incoherent, but in comparison, it is coherent. Yeah. In comparison, it's a good movie. Well, there's. Yeah. I was going to say well, that like, out there. I, I, it's like Suicide Squad was made so that people think BVS is better than it <laughs> yeah. is. Well, like, okay, Suicide Squad as well. One thing, like, you never get a grip on what's happening because it cuts every fucking five seconds. Yeah. Or faster. At least in BVS, like, you, a scene lasts more than, like, 20 seconds at and a time. For the first um, 30 minutes or so, Every single scene, basically, could have been the intro of the movie. Yeah. Like, the, the, there's no beginning. Can you do a clap? Like, the, the film just starts. It just puts you in this random scene. And then it keeps doing more and more scenes. Mm -hmm. Any of which could have been the intro. Some of which would have been better intros. Mm -hmm. Others would have been worse. And it's just like, what is the through line? It's just completely but random. The, again, they've, they've ruined backstory. Yeah, that could be fucking cool. Like because a, 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 the whole Harley Quinn thing. Yep. It's like ruined. Yeah, it's, she's suddenly out of nowhere loves the Joker. Well, her don't character see why. is shit. She's yeah, she's absolutely. I really she's hate awful. her. Yeah. She's and she's people just say that's swat. what she's meant to be. She's just stripper. No. She she yeah. There's a scene where she's literally like in a cage. Yeah, stripping. Stripping for a like slutty stripper, not stripper. You know, single parent has a child needs to look after it. Yeah. So is doing anything she can to make money. Just, just shit. Yeah. That's all she is. It's it's just a mess. She's not a like <laughs> she's not like this. You know, queen of chaos. She's yeah. just Queen of. I I got slut. more to say about fucking Jared Leto. Like I'm I am appalled by his performance. It's it's embarrassing. Every time he's on screen, I actually felt embarrassed. I actually cringed. Like the proper use of the word, fucking cringed. At every at every scene, and I was not one. I was willing to give him a chance. Yeah. I knew he's a good actor. He's been in good movies. He's done good shit. But his performance in this movie, and, a, and the thing that fucks me off the most, is the shit he did behind the scenes. Yeah, what the did shit he, behind, he fucking what did. What did he do? He sent pig carcasses to other people in the cast. Um, like used condoms. He he's one of those. You know what's the fucking? I always forget the, the method word. Method actor. Method Fancy. actors, where he like becomes the character. He he like he, like a shitty Christian Bell. Basically, yes. Um, I believe um, even Heath Ledger did that kind of stuff. Well, yeah, Heath Ledger, Ledger like, locked himself locked in a motel yeah. for six weeks. But that's different, isn't it? Like, that's just the, how we one, got into that thing. Six. Yeah, he. that's not affecting other people. That's just, like, yeah. what he did to help to, him. To, 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 yeah, to get oh, to yeah. the mind of this character, which is, like, fine. For sending used condoms to people, so you're just a fucking twat. And I suppose because he, he wanted their reactions to him to be... Like as real as and um, there's a bit of trivia like, I was I reading. It. I get why it's just like, come on, dude, perfect the fucking character before you yeah. start trying to make other people, you know, because your character is shit until you hadn't fleshed out. At yeah, all. there's a bit of trivia I was reading, um, saying that the Harley Quinn and Joker, wh whoever the actors were, Margot Robbie and Jared Leto, mm. um, they didn't rehearse any of the scenes they were with, and that was like a conscious decision, so there'd be this like weird natural thing that would go down when they first. Started filming. Mm -hmm. And it's like... And? What fucking difference they're does it in make? It, like, they're in like three scenes together, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he dies, and then he doesn't die. And it's like... And like, every time he shows up, he's wearing a, a classic reference to a famous Batman comic. Mm -hmm. Randomly, he's in a tuxedo. Another part, he's in the purple. Um, At the end, he shows up in a SWAT costume. Is there a reason for that? Is that a thing he does? This says Joker on it, probably. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. I wouldn't know off the top of my head, but I really cannot summate how awful the Joker was in the movie. Not only the Joker, but the rela the relationship between those two characters as yeah. well. Just wrong. Yeah. Like, I he, don't even he, like, he, want to talk about the film. I'm just so like... <laughs> in all, even in like the animated show, he'd, he'd rarely like go out of his way to help out Harley Quinn. Yeah. It would be the other way around. Mm -hmm. She's constantly trying to... like. Be something to him. Yeah, he just doesn't give a shit. He he's supposed to be obsessed with Batman, and she's supposed mm -hmm. to be obsessed with him, right? Yeah. And he just kind of uses her as this weird, like yeah, fuck. He, he just mentally fucks her, and then like, 
and then he's just done with her. Yeah. But he just uses her mm-hmm. as like a, another henchman. It seems like the plot for this movie writes itself. Mm-hmm. This, this, the through line for the film is Joker setting up Harley Quinn. It's about those two characters. You set up the Joker and you set up Harley Quinn in this movie. Yeah, Meanwhile, something else all, is going on. First, But then all, that's enough for its own fucking Batman movie. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> like I, I was going to say, they shouldn't just come out the gate with Suicide Squad. No, it's fucked. It's like, fucked from the beginning. More, random dude on the street. Who's Killer Croc? Who's Deadshot? Who's Fire Mexican guy? Yeah. Like, why do Who you... just turns into this fire demon at the end? It's yeah, like, what the what? fuck was that about? Yeah. Like, Deus Ex Machina, man. Um, Marvel could do something like this now. If they didn't kill off all their villains. Yeah. Like, maybe they're shit, but still, people would know them. They'd I mean, like, if you have Loki in there... Yeah, like Loki mm. leading the... Yeah. Ultron defense force. That, yeah. that, isn't this... Isn't the sinister... Six or whatever is supposed to be like that's, a, an that's equivalent. That's all Spider Man, though. Isn't it? Yeah. it is a Spider Man thing, but I think that's what the idea is. Yeah, a similar type thing, and it's kind of a bit goofy. So Spider Man, but like six. Iron Man will help. Or yeah, it's un- it's unbelievable. But the- you can point at a couple of things in BVS and say, "Yeah, that was a good scene." Yeah. There's, 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 action. There's, the action sucks. All all for me it is on Suicide Squad. I'm trying to think of like a a reel of my favorite worst scenes. That's yeah. all it is for me. <laughs> There's one thing I like in Suicide Squad. One thing. It's one shot. Purely on a visual level. Nothing to do with context at all. And it was when the witch character like puts her hand down and then the, the yeah, other Yeah, I thought that as well. I was yeah, like, that's cool. cool. I was like, oh, that's neat. Yeah. And that was that was the extent of the yeah. things that I like. No, I, just, I was just stuff... like, I don't want to say it. I thought it was like, that was neat. Not going to say it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fuck it. This movie's <laughs> too bad. Some stuff does look cool, though. That was another thing. The effects even look bad. Yeah, yeah no, the effects right. look awful, but I mean, like, the practical shit, like, when the Joker is lying in the middle of the room with all the shit around him, mm-hmm. but then yeah. he does his fucking laugh that's just like... Ah, ah, he, he sounds like ah. a witch from a fucking kid's TV show. Yeah. And the part where, um, they both fall in the juice. Mm-hmm. Like, the colours going around them and shit, that's cool. Stupid, but but then no they, 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 I laughed then, at that bit because I thought it was so bad. Yeah, The music that. is fucking atrocious at that bit. Yeah. Like, that's what's funny about it. And then he kisses her, and it's like... Mm-hmm. Those two characters, yeah, I don't think you should see them do that. They've gone for this like they try to have this sexually charged yeah. Joker but, and but Harley yeah, thing. I in feel this like one. the Joker just isn't they've, it's sexual. Like they, it's like they've misunderstood all. the Joker. Yeah, yeah. And like, and the problem with that is he has no setup at all. Mm-hmm. You don't understand what what they just throw you it's, in. It's just because he's a recognizable character. They didn't feel like, and he's all over the marketing and everything. He's probably going to be on the box and shit. Yeah, of the DVD. It's it's honestly just unbelievable. I know this is going to piss some people off who like the movie, but fuck off. Yeah. Like fuck if you. if the you like terrible. this, I'm going to go as far as saying if you like this movie, you don't know what a good movie is. I'm sorry. No, it, it's just like well, they don't know blindness. the difference. Yeah, You've been yeah. blinded by nostalgia and DC. Yeah. Oh, you like the Force Awakens? Fuck off. Fuck off. If if you're going to like make that comparison, it's like you just don't understand them. You just mm-hmm. don't get it. I'm sorry. You can be a DC fan, you can like the movie if you want, but fuck. My favourite other ones, like, are people who, they, they like, like, I don't know, a film like Inception, alright, so they think, or they like Fight Club, so all of a sudden, their opinions are immune, because they like, they like, other, mm-hmm. they like movies that are actually good, objectively. Yeah. Actually made well, makes sense, well, yeah. I mean, people don't understand Inception, but, I've got it now. Anyway. Just because you fucking like that doesn't mean that you can like Suicide Squad and your opinions are all of a sudden yeah. so fucking smart. I like mm-hmm. good movies. No, all right, because you, you just like every movie. Yeah. For like just retarded reasons, mm-hmm. like oh, I look cool, or oh, I like the story yeah. in that one. It was oh, I like the twist, and they named some shit movie or whatever. Yeah. It's just like just being easily pleased. A fundamental misunderstanding of what filmmaking is. It's weird that like at this point in Hollywood we actually have this weird split of now there are actually movies that are coming out that are so fucked that they're hardly even movies. Mm-hmm. Independence Day, Suicide Squad, Batman v Superman. And it's like so many forgettable ones as well. Like I can't even name anymore because like they're just so fucked. So forgettable. M- films that make no- all the Transformers films just oh, God. make no sense. Like, I, I honestly couldn't believe it. It was Transformers 4 was the first time I really started getting angry at it, pandering to the Chinese nonsensical plot. Is that the one we watched recently? Or was that the... Yeah, that's the one we just opened. Yeah, that's unbelievably fucking um, bad. I haven't watched that. It's yeah, fucking bad. Um, and then we after that... whole thing 
didn't we? Yeah, when it when it first came out. Um, and that one I was baffled by. And then it was yeah. the Amazing Spider-Man two, where it was this, but times. When I, well, I, I minus started 10. watching that and I thought it was cringy and I couldn't be bothered. Like that was that was the one where I thought it's just not going to get worse than this. It can't get worse. Wait, than is that this. the one, the ending where he's like diving through the clock? Is that the first one? That's the second one. Right, when what's her face dies? Gwen yeah, yeah. Stacey. And he tries to web her, but she's yeah. Goes, anyway, but like even in comparison, like oh, and the web goes into her hand. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that that is like nothing compared to Suicide Squad. Yeah. Like that's a scene. I'll buy it quite when funny. she dies, is a scene. There's acting going on. There's like yeah. shit happening. And you get it. You're like, oh, he's sad. Cause yeah. His lady died. And like he's actually putting effort into this acting thing for this moment. Yeah. Which I can see why a Spider-Man fan might like. Like I still think it's a terrible, awful yeah. film. But in comparison, that film is fucked on so many levels. But it's not fucked on the same amount of levels as Suicide Squad. If I see a film worse than this, like. I think that's it, everybody. Yeah, like I'm we'll done. We'll quit. We'll quit. All of us. That's a good thing. Well, I mean, I won't quit. quit. I mean, Alex can quit if he wants, but like... It's, it's just... I'm fucking pissed about it, really. I'm pissed that this was even able to happen. You're getting a bit tubby, are you? <laughs> it's just a good thing for me, because I fucking hate all, fuck all, all new movies. I just don't watch them. Yeah. Until this one But then it's special. amazing that, like, we say that, but then we can get a film like Mad Max. <laughs> Just yeah, which is a big Hollywood today. movie. Frank, can you oh, the new Dunkirk. Yeah, because you know, I'm gonna watch it because it looks <laughs> fucking fantastic. But that's it. That next like two years is gonna be full of shit. Besides, it's just a normal Marvel. Movie. It is interesting that it's always superhero movies though. I'm hungry, and we've got to do another one of these after this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> A, Let's just end this, alright? That's my suicide no, squad. We can't, we can't put all of our fucking energy into like one. We've got to split them between two today. Yeah, yeah. When I'm, no, we're doing now three. We can have a break. Been... We're not doing three. Can now we can have off. a break. Gee, we're, doing, we're doing three. We're doing four today. We're doing five. We're doing six. And we're going to podcast all night, baby. The sixth one is going to be four hours long. <laughs> yeah. Yes, one day. Next cast, we're not no. going to talk about movies. One day, we should do like an insanely long, way. like uh, either podcast or a really long live stream for some something. Yeah. Just was one day, we should do that. In two years, on the 100th anniversary of World War One. It's a good one. Why I'm so angry. I'm just so angry about Suicide Squad. Wait, I mean, it's like hardly... Let's go play some Battlefield. I actually, one. I actually need some time to decompress about Suicide Squad. Yeah, I want to go. Fucked me off so much. I'm fucking leaving. So, the room. are we going to get Chinese or Domino's? Next podcast, I'll actually, I'll answer your podcast subject. So, yeah. so that'll be next week. Jim, do you want to well. Jim, do you want a Sammy's? Should we go get Sammy's, everyone? Fuck Suicide Squad. Fuck Suicide Squad. At least Jared Leto was good enough. I, did, I still have more to say about him as well, but fuck it. I'm not going to do it anymore. I, I hate that movie. I forgot I, I did that laugh. I completely forgot about it. Apparently no, there's, like a, there's, a, there's, there's a there's a radical right-wing party going nuts in Portugal. I'm going to end this one. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next episode. These are being Woo! bulk recorded, by the way, because um, Jim's going away for a few weeks. Because so. he's going to go cheat on us with his new group of friends. Oh, that was cool. well, the TV yeah. and the Xbox <laughs> yeah. for three weeks. Oh, Where I'll Papa. probably play with you. Yeah, exactly. Let's just hope their internet isn't shit. See you soon.